Miles Powell and Marcus Howard. Miles Powell went to Seton Hall. He got the Big East Player of the Year. Marcus Howard went to Marquette. Silky smooth guard. Uh, they, he, they really just stand out to me because I think they're both under the radar. They get a lot of recognition, but I think they can be missed. You know, I have a thing for saying that uh, people can have the spot to be backup point guards. But um, I think these two gentlemen are on go. I think they can start on any team in the NBA, especially the weaker teams in the NBA. Marcus Howard, I believe, averaged uh, – let me pull up his stats real quick for you. Miles Powell averaged 21 points his senior year, four rebounds, two assists. And then Marcus Howard, he really surprised me because of his growth each year. Freshman year, 13 points. Sophomore year, 20 points. Junior year, 25 points. And then last year, uh, this year, current year, he ends with 27 points, three assists, and three rebounds. His game is Ball elite. Man. He's a baller. I'm talking about he's aggressive from the tip of the game all the way down to the end. And it doesn't matter who he's playing. He's a little undersized. He's like six feet, six one. So that might be the weakest parts of his game. But I, I think that man deserves a spot on the roster hands down, especially when they played against each other, even though, you know, Seton Hall managed to win that game. But Marcus Howard, I believe he had like 37 in that game. He's, he's a baller. He's a baller. He, he's a true point guard, and he's just a true stud. Marcus Howard, who plays for Marquette now, I've had the opportunity to watch him since high school. I went to Mountain Point High School. He went to Perry High School, which were in the same district. So I, I've been – at games and participated in games where him and his brother, Jordan Howard, who played at Central Arkansas, <laughs> now plays overseas, has both come and give our school, Mountain Point High School, 30 points each. So mm. this, 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 this is nothing new. I, I've seen this potential and I've known this talent, but to now see it play out, and again, like you say, to see him progress every single year, to yeah, go to his cute. first year averaging 13 to last season averaging 27, that's a that's big huge. jump. That's, That's a big jump. So I think to, to, to see that progress and to see that heart and that tenacity that he has and the way that he represents for Marquette, I, I definitely think that, um, that that's someone that should be on everyone's radar because the dudes are just a true baller, man. And I know his height wavers a lot of, you know, his defense. When we talk about his defense, when we talk about his ability of, of finishing around the basket, I do think that that will cause some problems. But those are things that can be worked on on top of the true talent that he possesses now. So I'm excited to see what, what he's going to do. Now, let me ask you this. If you're a GM, right, and you're, let's say, your starting point guard is, let's just say Ben Simmons, right? Are you even recommending Marcus Howard, or are you just going to pass up on him and try to get back to him? Like, are you taking him as soon as he's available, or is he the type of player you think you'll circle back around if he's still available? So I think that decision has a lot to do with what my team needs. So in okay. that position, if, if, if I'm in, if I'm Philadelphia and I have Ben Simmons as my starting point guard, Marcus Howard may get overlooked because I, I have an all-star him. point guard right now. And I feel that there's other avenues in which they can improve on. We talk about getting someone at the power four position. We talk about somebody being able to be a strong defender and a strong rim protector that'll be able to back up and be when he's not in the game. So those, those would be the things that I would be looking for if I was a team like Philadelphia, but if I'm a team like the Detroit Pistons, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm I need him. Up. Like I, I, he could come play with us. Like come, let him come run, you know, playing behind Derrick Rose and the leadership that he has and the skills, the skill set that he possessed at this point in his career and being a part of a process that's still trying to grow. I don't think that, you know, he, he's a talent that will be able to come in the NBA and, and change an immediate change impact the of a team, make an immediate mm. impact. But I, but I think that, being on a being on a team where he's able to grow behind someone who who kind of has the same skill set and possesses the same talent in which he does, I think that that would be good. So it all depends on what team you are and what you need for your for your squad. So then that kind of goes back to one of my favorite points. Does that make him a backup point guard, or like you use the example Derrick Rose? Do you slide Derrick Rose to the two and put Marcus Howard at the one? I would love to see that. 
but again, we 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 have to see. It all depends on what, what what can be maneuvered, who can be picked up, what spots can be implemented. So it all depends on again what your team needs. But to see Marcus Howard playing the one, Derrick Rose at the two, I th- that would be a pretty sight in Detroit. Okay, I respect that. What? How you feel about Miles Powell game? Miles Powell and what what he's been able to do with Seton Hall, I think it's been great. Like you said about Marcus Powell or Marcus Howard, excuse me, he's progressed every season and the leadership that he's possessed, how he's performed under clutch situations. Under you know, pressure. when he's a freshman, he was 250 pounds. Yeah. yeah. He, he, his, so, so his, his, his hustle and his grind has been more than just his game and how he does mm-hmm. and on the court. He's been having a great diet. He's been eating well. He's been staying in shape and the better his shape has been, the better his game has been. So I think that's good. But you always have to question when you talk about someone who's, whose size is the, the, probably their biggest question. You have to wonder how that's going to transition when you talk about playing at the, the NBA level or the professional level. So I think that that's always going to be a big question. But when you talk about him performing under pressure, him being able to get to the basket, finish with contact. He can do that. Been a, he can do that. He can facilitate and he can hit big shots on big moments. Mm-hmm. So I think that him having those abilities is definitely, he's someone who I would have on my list. But again, I would have to have the same situation as, as Marcus Howard. It all depends on what I need for my team. You know, people like Marcus Howard, Miles Powell, uh, Shamari Pons, he went to St. John's. They, some, some of those type of players, they end up going undrafted. But I think with two or three years of experience, they'll be right exactly where the NBA needs them to be. And I still think they can go in and make an immediate uh, impact right now, if you ask me. I just hope that the NBA doesn't overlook them because they're great talents. And Miles Powell, I really, really like his game. Uh, my, my little brother, he, he loved Miles Powell. He actually really pointed him out to me a couple years ago. And um, I think it's, it's a great thing to watch the player's development. You know, like a lot of players just do the one and done and they leave. But like how we were saying earlier with Marcus Howard, when you start your freshman year averaging 13 points, which is great for a freshman, by the way, that's an immediate impact. But end your career averaging 27 points. It's just like, how do you not put that person in the NBA? Because that shows that they grow. You know what I'm saying? You, and that's what you want on your roster. So um, big shout out to those two guys. I hope that they, you know, get a fair chance in the draft. And even if they go undrafted, they, you know, get their workouts and everything is is um, going in their favor because I definitely want to see them in the NBA uniform very, very soon. 